Now we're going to be talking about uh, something from astronomy where we're going to discuss about the difference between the sidereal year and the tropical year. So what do we mean when we say sidereal year and what do we mean when we say tropical year? Okay, the, si the sidereal uh, year is the number of days that it takes for the Earth to go around and come back to the same point with respect to the stars. The tropical year, simply put it, is for the Earth to come back to the same point with the same orientation to the Sun that it began. In other words, for the Sun to reappear in the sky at the same point that it was when it first started. So let's put it this way. So let's assume that this is the Sun. And uh, let's say the date is June 21. We know that on or about June 21, that is the beginning of summer solstice, and that's when the axis of the Earth points towards the sun, okay, most towards the sun. So that's the beginning of summer. So the time for the Earth to go completely around the sun, come back to exactly the same point, okay, that is the sidereal year. Okay, so in order for the Earth to come back to the same point with respect to the fixed stars. Okay, that's sidereal year. And that is equal to three hundred and sixty five point two. Two five six three six three zero zero four days. So that's how many days it takes for the Earth to go around, come back to the same point. Okay. Now, while the Earth is doing that, the Earth is at the same time is precessing. So the Earth is actually doing three things. It is rotating. Okay, once every twenty four hours, the Earth is revolving, going around the Sun. So this is called revolution. This is called rotation, okay? In, in this lecture, I will not have to focus on the rotation. So it has, it's not related to the rotation. We just have to focus on the revolution and the precession. So the third thing that the Earth is doing is precessing, okay? So the axis of the Earth, while it's like this, it's precessing like this. So precession doesn't mean the angle of the tilt is changing, it's just that it's making a cone like this, okay? So let me write this bigger, like that. So it's making a cone like that. So the, uh, the direction of the precession is actually like this, okay? Uh, it goes like that into the board. So think of the precession as going into the board, then out of the board. Into the board, out of the board. So you have to visualize this as going into the board coming here and then out of the board, okay? So that is called the precession rate. The precession rate of the Earth is very, very slow, but it does affect the seasons, and so it's because of the precession rate that we have something known as tropical year, and that's what I'm going to explain to you now. Okay, so to make things simpler, let's view this from the top, and let's do our drawings from the top. Okay, so if you do a top view, what will this look like? You have the sun here. On June 21, you have the earth facing the sun. And then while the earth is going around, coming back to the same point that it began, is the axis still going to be facing the sun? No, not really, right? Because the axis, notice it's going to be doing... Uh, precession like that. So if you look from the top view, when, the, when you look at the precession, it's going to come around, right, like that. So basically what's going to end up happening is that by the time that the Earth goes around, comes back to the same point, it will have precessed a tiny bit. So it's going to be a little bit into the board, right? So the tropical year is going to occur before the sidereal year occurs. We're going to have to backtrack a little bit so that the Earth the Earth's axis is facing towards the sun. So in order to view this, this top view is much better, right? So while the Earth is going around like this, the, this axis is also precessing, okay? So like this, tiny bit like that. 
the earth is like doing like that, precessing a little bit like that, you see? So it's rotating this way, you see? I'm looking at it from the top view of what it's doing like this. So by the time that December comes along, the precession is like that. By the time uh, it's over here, the precession is like that. And of course, I'm exaggerating here, right? So there's going to come a point here where the precession will be like this. And then finally, it goes like that, like that. And then by the time June comes, it might look something like that. So what I want to know is how long does it take for it so that you get a situation where the, the precession will have come around so the Earth's position will be such that the axis will have pointed and exactly looking at the sun, okay? Back to the sun. So let's do it like this. So imagine we draw an axis like this. Imagine a circle here. So imagine that the Earth started out like that, and then this precession, imagine, is occurring rather fast. So by the time that the Earth gets here, imagine this thing has gone around, precessed, 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 and is exactly facing the sun. So this will be the tropical year, right? Because summer is when the Earth's axis is facing the sun, and then when the Earth is here, summer will occur again, right? So that's tropical year. What's the sidereal year? The Earth would have to go, 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 come back to here. But uh, the tropical year is more important in this case because we want to know what's the beginning of uh, summer, right? So if this had been the case, summer would have started in June, okay? When does summer next start? So if this was December, um, this would be what? <coughs> Maybe March. So how are we going to find out the general equation for the time it takes for one tropical year from this situation to this. So here's what we're going to do. Imagine the xy axis here. <clears throat> we're going to come up for an expression for defining the position of the Earth, uh, the angle of the Earth, uh, for defining the angle of the position of the Earth. So imagine the Earth is here, imagine the Earth is here, the Earth is here, Earth is here, Earth is here, Earth is here, right? What's the angle of the Earth's position? So, the angle of the Earth's position is going to be the rate of revolution of the Earth, omega revolution, that means how many radians the Earth is making per second times time. I'm assuming that you're starting at zero, right? So the Earth is starting at zero in June. That's my starting point. So there's no initial angle. This is the rate of revolution in radians per second times time. So now I need another position for the axis, the way that the axis of the Earth is pointing. So notice that initially the axis is pointing this way. So imagine another axis we make x, y axis here, right? What's the initial angle uh, that the axis is facing? The initial angle is towards the Earth, so it's pi radians, right? So the angle of the axis of the Earth starts with pi, right? Because it's facing this way. And then over time, the axis is rotating this way, this way, this way, so on, so on, until you get this situation. So if I put my x, y axis right here, Right? The axis we used to face this way, but it has precessed all the way to here. Right, So the general equation will be it starts at pi minus, right? <coughs> and then the rate of precession of the Earth times time. Right? So this is the general equation for which direction the axis is facing. This is the general equation for where the Earth is relative to the sun. So what's the condition for the season to occur again? If summer occurred here, in order for summer to occur again, uh, notice here, this angle here, theta axis is measuring what? It's measuring this angle, theta axis. You see, it used to begin at pi, and it has come around, so you're subtracting how much it has precessed, and so it's measuring this angle. 
That's going to be basically, if you draw this triangle, it's going to be, uh, going to be this angle of the triangle uh, from the Earth's position to the Sun. You can make a triangle like that. And it's also the same as this angle, theta axis. You see, because the Earth's axis is facing the Sun, and originally the Earth's axis was facing the Sun too. Okay? What's the relationship between the two? What's the angle of the Earth? The angle of the Earth is start, it started here, and then it is <coughs> this one here, theta Earth. So if the axis is facing the Sun, and that's this theta axis, and if this is the angle of the Earth, what's the relationship? If I add pi radians to the theta axis, I will get the angle of the Earth, right? So in order for the tropical year to reoccur, uh, see, uh, the summer started here, in order for summer to reoccur again, what's the condition? Theta axis, right? Plus pi equals the position of the Earth with respect to the sun, so that's theta of Earth. You see? So I'm going to put this minus this here. Plus pi is equal to W revolution T. What's this T? It's the time that it takes for the tropical year to occur. So that's tropical year. You see? So this is, we can put your subscript. Tropical year. You see? 